like doing legs on Mondays because benching a lot of people do a bench on Mondays and nothing wrong with that. I like to be different. And while when people are doing one thing, I tend to do the different thing. While they zig, you zag. You tend to be doing right when you're not following the masses with, with most things. All right, so we're back at Total Flex Gym here in Waukesha. Uh, starting a new four-week or program, and uh, Mondays are leg day. I know a lot of people start with chest on Mondays, but we start with legs. And uh, today's gonna be a little bit lighter. The first first week of the four, uh, not gonna be pushing as hard with the number of uh, at least the weight with the reps. Uh, but we're gonna be doing three sets of each. We're gonna lower the rep range. We were doing 12 to 15, but now we're lowering the rep range to around eight to 12. And so this first week, really working on my form, my squat's been junk, and trying to get that to work out night, uh, get better, uh, get it nice deeper. My hip flexor's been messed up, but whatever. We're still gonna get a nice push today. And so the first thing we're gonna start off with is squat. See you there. All right, so I'm, just, I'm doing three sets. I'm probably gonna only record for you the first and the last set. Keep these videos succinct. But I wanna get deep, knees over toes, and we'll go from there. Let's do this. All right, so not pushing the weight too heavy. That's set one. Two more to do. All right, set three. All right, third set done. And so we're going on good mornings. And so we're working quads. Now we're gonna flip it to good mornings. Let's do it. All right, so we did squats. Now we're going to good mornings. Now with the good mornings, I'm gonna keep my back arch. Don't, don't wanna lose that arch. And pushing the butt back, then going down, but you feel it in your hamstrings and so you don't need a huge range of motion on this to get feel. Well, some people don't like I don't because I my flexibility is not there. Uh, but you should feel it. If you're not feeling your flex, you're not feeling any in your hamstrings. You're losing the the break in your back, and so you want to have that arch. Keep that arch. All right. Uh, uh, see, not much range on. All right, nice and easy. Not going killer on this first week. All right, two more sets. 
third set. Chest up. All right, so you finished the good mornings. Now we're gonna go to uh, do lunges. And we're gonna stick with that three sets, eight to 12 range, probably do 12. And then this is a light week or light, yeah, the lighter weeks of the, of the four we're doing. Um, change it up, I like doing legs on Mondays. Because I mentioned a lot of people do a bench on Mondays. And nothing wrong with that. I like to be different. And while when people are doing one thing, I tend to do the different thing. Why they zig, you zag. And you tend, you tend to be doing right when you're not following the masses with, with most things. All right, so let's go do some lunges. So, lunge time. And so I'm gonna step, not straight forward, slight to an angle. Two more each. All right, two more sets of that. So what do we got in the docket for today? Work-wise, some more interviews, training, marketing stuff, sales, uh, coaching, those types of things. And over the weekend, some of our loan officers got some new deals. So obviously we'll have to get those rocking and rolling. Yeah, but it's go time. It's always go time. Time to continue to build. All right, two more sets. All right, so let's do our third and final set of these. Two more. East side, anyway. Oh my. All right, let's go on to calves. All right, so calves, do three sets of these. And since uh, faster exercise will list today, I'll record these. And so slow, up,
right, two more, like that. All right, last leg set. Slow and controlled. Easy lay day today, and it's not gonna always be that way. So, with the four weeks that I do, the first week is kind of an easing week. It's kind of like a mix between a deload. It's kind of like a deload, but not quite a deload where you're taking it really easy. Uh, but it's getting used to the exercises, get a little extra rest, but still putting some weight on yourself. Uh, so you're staying strong. And so the next weeks. I'll be increasing the weights on all of these, uh, but that's that's our leg day today. Uh, stay tuned, we'll wrap it up where it's a little quieter. So how was that for a change of scenery? <laughs> now, so I was just at the gym, now I'm at <clears throat> Panera, where I'm gonna call this the, my office for the next few hours. If you don't have the Panera, I don't, I'm not a sponsor. If you guys wanna sponsor me, go ahead and do it. But I talk about your sip club all the time because was it 10 bucks, 11, 12 bucks a month, all you can drink, uh, you know, coffee, teas, soda, their reef charger things. Now, it's not going to be like your fancy like cappuccino, but any which way, we're not here to talk about this. We're talking about the lift. And so with my squats, I got deeper. Um, I'm still feeling things in my hip flexors are they're not really liking it, but uh, I felt I was a little bit better on my squats today than I had been the last month. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Obviously, it was a much uh, less weight than I've been typically doing, too. And so making those changes, uh, whatever I got to do, because th the goal is not as much weight. The goal is uh, develop my muscles and hypertrophy and, and building muscles. And so some of my I have to reorient my thinking is that if I'm not doing big weight, then what kind of loser am I? Uh, and... I'm setting myself for failure because I'm not looking to, yeah, I'm going to get stronger, of course, um, but I'm not looking to push the strength. I'm looking to build muscle, and I have to remember that, and we have to set ourselves up for the proper expectations. I was talking with my sales guys, and, you know, I asked them is, you know, is, you know, what are your expectations when you're making calls that you, you know, a number of appointments? And we've had these conversations, but people quickly forget things. And like, well, you know, I'll make, if you talk to 10 people, how many appointments should you schedule? You know, what would you consider good? And like, oh, six. And that, that is, if you got, they got six, they would be phenomenal. I don't even get six when I talk to 10 usually. Sometimes it happens, but that's not, that's not the average by any means because if six is your average, I mean, sometimes you're 10 out of 10 and other times you're three out of 10, right? And so that can't be your average. And so like, but heck, it, it with what they do and what they're able to develop and the referrals they can continually get is even if they only get one out of 10 consistently, and I mean, sometimes it's zero, sometimes, you know, they'll get two or three, but if they can consistently get one appointment out of every 10 talk tos they'll get is that they will have a career that's better than 99% of the other loan officers out there. And so you have, well, that's pretty darn simple. It, it is, but it doesn't make it easy. And you know, why is it not easy? Because you have to put the work in and people always avoid the work. They go through the path of least resistance and things that I'm working on constantly. And it keeps me up, literally wakes me up thinking about how can I help these guys and, and gals uh, to grow and, and grow. And when they put the work in, they see the results. And so you also have that proper expectations and what's your goal? And then what's the means to get to that goal? If I'm trying to get bigger muscles, it doesn't necessarily mean I have to have the biggest weight because uh, it needs to mean I need to have my proper form. Uh, controlling my eccentrics, getting the proper range of motion, those types of things, and then I'll progress in the weights and or the or the reps. So I have to remind myself of those things and set proper expectations for myself and what should happen. All right, so for today, I get some marketing things done, kick out a few things, I get a few things as well finished up here before my sales guys come in and we start some prospecting time. Uh, but that's it for today. Tomorrow we'll do an upper body focus and I will see you there. See ya.